In the late 20th century, the skies were becoming a stage for a new breed of warplanes. The United States Air Force launched the ambitious Advanced Tactical Fighter, or ATF, program to maintain its edge. The goal was clear, develop a next-generation fighter with unparalleled capabilities. It would need to be stealthy, fast, and highly maneuverable. Two leading contenders emerged, the YF-23 Black Widow and another advanced aircraft. The YF-23, developed by Northrop and McDonnell Douglas, pushed the boundaries of aerospace engineering. It promised a new standard in air dominance for the United States Air Force. The YF-23 Black Widow was a radical departure from conventional fighter jet designs. Its blended diamond-shaped wings and sharp angles gave it a distinctive, almost alien appearance. Every curve and contour was meticulously designed to minimize its radar signature, making it exceptionally difficult to detect. Powering the YF-23 were two cutting-edge engines. Two prototypes were built, each with a different engine option, the Pratt & Whitney YF-119 and the General Electric YF-120. These engines gave the Black Widow incredible speed and range. It could reach supersonic speeds without relying on afterburners, a capability known as supercruise. The Black Widow's armament was equally impressive, featuring an internal weapons bay to maintain its stealthy profile. This bay could carry a range of air-to-air -air missiles, making it a versatile opponent in any engagement. The YF-23's combination of stealth, speed and firepower made it a formidable contender in the ATF program. It was a true stealth aircraft. The YF-23's main rival in the ATF competition was the Lockheed YF-22, which would later evolve into the F-22 Raptor. Both aircraft possessed advanced stealth capabilities, impressive speed, and sophisticated avionics. The competition between these two aircraft was fierce, pushing the boundaries of fighter jet design. The YF-23 held the edge in several key areas. It was faster, had a longer range, and superior stealth capabilities. However, the YF-22 excelled in maneuverability, able to turn tighter and outmaneuver the YF-23 in close quarters dogfights. This was due in part to its thrust vectoring nozzles, which allowed sharper turns. While dogfighting was becoming less common, the Air Force still considered it a vital capability. On paper, the Black Widow seemed to have a clear advantage. Yet the YF-22's agility was a significant factor in the competition. In 1991, the United States Air Force selected the YF-22 as the winner of the ATF program. This decision surprised many who saw the YF-23 as the more advanced aircraft. The Air Force prioritized the YF-22's superior agility and cost-effectiveness. Lockheed's experience in large-scale production was seen as a lower-risk option. Additionally, the Air Force had concerns about the stability of the YF-23 program due to McDonnell Douglas's merger with Boeing. The end of the Cold War shifted the focus to regional conflicts, where the YF-22's maneuverability was deemed more crucial. In this context, the YF-22's potential for future upgrades outweighed the YF-23's advantages in speed and range. Although the YF-23 did not achieve active service, its impact on aviation history is undeniable. It remains a testament to the ingenuity of its designers and a symbol of what might have been. The Black Widow's legacy lives on in its influence on subsequent aircraft designs. Its sleek, blended wing body configuration and emphasis on stealth have inspired a generation of engineers. Today, both YF-23 prototypes are preserved in museums, serving as a reminder of the fierce competition that drove innovation in the ATF program. While the F-22 Raptor ultimately earned its place as America's premier air superiority fighter, the YF-23 Black Widow will forever be remembered as a formidable contender.